Okay, so David said to start without him, so let's start. Hello, and welcome to another small community meeting. I hope everybody can hear me fine. And everybody's super excited about all the great things that are going to happen today. Um, so previous action items, great, we have none. Everything is cool. Um, so we should start with Sumo Dev update, but I don't see Kadir. Kadir, are you online already? Yes, no? Ricky, just the man we wanted. Bye. <laughs> okay. okay, so I think we need to wait for a bit longer, right? Because there's... Ricky, can you talk about the Sumo Dev update? Or should we wait for the deal? <clears throat> uh, okay, let me see. So we're on the fifth sprint of the year. What have we fixed so far? Uh, we fixed the the top contributor dashboard thing where it was listing nine instead of 10. We've, and we fixed the, the issue with uh, Portuguese where the progress bar was just showing overall instead of by locale. So now if you go to the Portuguese support forum, it has the right numbers. So I think right now it says five of five are done, 100%, good job. Uh, let me see. Yeah, oh, actually, there's one without this. One per muchas en respostas nos últimos tres días, whatever that means. So, so yeah, go ahead and uh, if you know Portuguese, go answer that question. It's the second one there. Uh, I think Rosana knows Portuguese now. <laughs> Do that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, we were coming up with a lot of new work last week at the, with Ibai and Kadir. I suspect we'll get a lot of new bugs out of that. Um, and yeah, other than that, you can look at the sprint for all the individual bugs. Excellent. Thank you. Hey, Ricky, that's awesome uh, about the language support for the forum. Thanks for doing that. And to Kadir and Ibai and everyone who worked on that. And yeah. Michael, uh, that was specifically, I think, Michael Cooper who did uh, the majority of the work there. So thanks a lot for that. I think it's been, it's, it came out really well. And we are very much interested in the feedback on that, um, how it works for you guys so that we can improve it before we roll it out to more languages. Sweet, excellent. Um, Kadir, do you have any more for Sumo Dev updates or should we move to uh, UX? Sorry, it took me a while to get in here. Um, so I'm not sure if you've talked about uh, the stuff that is in there already, but you will see that it's mainly um, that we are now making the information architecture, the, uh, the topic-based um, architecture uh, available in the forums so that you can um, uh, select the area that you're interested in that you want to answer to, that you, that you want to add answers to, and then um, select, uh, list all the threads that are uh, related to that. Um, that, that is one of the main focuses of this uh, sprint. Uh, the second focus of this sprint is the uh, YouTube uh, integration. Um, so uh, as you might know, uh, video uh, integration was a, is a big issue for us, uh, especially on mobile. Our solution is currently not even working well or not working at all. Um, so this, this uh, change to uh, YouTube will give us a lot of flexibility in terms of how to add uh, videos. We just need to add one video and YouTube will do the rest for us. So we'll get all the benefits of um, the massive YouTube backend um, on, on Kitsune. So I'm really hoping this, this will also bring a boost in um, new videos added to uh, articles, hopefully, because now we can actually host them easily and uh, we can deliver them uh, in a lot of formats that actually work for users. So, yeah. Great stuff. Thanks. Any other questions for this one? Or should we go on? Okay. Um, let's move on to UX then. That's All right. 
Um, so in UX this week, uh, Bram is working on a number of variations on the product landing page, which is the biggest page that we have, about 25% of our visits, and also the biggest uh, landing page that we have. About a quarter of our users are coming in through that page. So we are going to look at uh, variations of that. Hopefully have some interesting results on that soon. Excellent. Great. Okay, let's move on to roundtable. Um, before I go through the topics, I just want to ask everybody who is uh, who wants to post topics for discussion in the roundtable, if you could please, please, please use the, the template, the roundtable template, uh, because it makes it much easier for us to actually go through everything. Uh, and we also know who are we talking to. So please, 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 Try to use that template, it's very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we need the report abuse feature, not just in questions, but also in contributor forms. Um, the, I see there is a bug file here, but I thought that bug was closed. All right, so uh, Kadir, can you tell us more about the report abuse feature? What has happened to that? I know it was a discussion about it and the bug was, bug was filed, but I see the bug is closed. So does, that, does this mean that we're not doing it or? Um, I haven't seen that yet. Just let me have a look and I... Um... No, it's still very much there. It's on a backlog. Uh, we can have a look at that for the next sprint, uh, for the sixth okay. sprint. Uh, it was just closed as a, uh, as a duplicate. So oh, okay. we've had that already. All right, my bad. Okay, so this discussion is still going. Uh, Andrew, I see you posted this question. We're going to talk about it as well in the, the discussion that we're having right now about the forum guidelines. Um, it's on the list there, so just keep your eyes open on that uh, thread and we will talk more about it, so don't worry. Okay, next topic, KB Community Vision. Michael. Sorry, um, <clears throat> I posted a big long document about a vision for like a structure for the KB community. It's a draft, it needs input, it needs ideas, are we missing stuff? Uh, does this look like the future you'd like or not? all that kind of stuff. So please just read it and add your thoughts to the thread there in the forum. Great. That's a lot of progress. Thanks, Michael. Any questions for Michael? Take one, take two, take three. Okay, I'll move on. Uh, next topic, file history and usage. Uh, posted by Jan. So I think he's asking about file history and file usage details of media files like on media wiki. If anybody wants to comment on that. There is a bug file I see as well. Uh, hello? Test? Hello. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, John speaking. Yes, uh, this is a feature that I would like to see on the uh, Sumo website. So uh, it's a feature that was uh, used before by MediaWiki. If you're uh, familiar with uh, Wikipedia editing, uh, it's a feature I think is nice because it allows you to view previous versions of uh, files and also see where each file is used on the knowledge base. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anybody wants to comment on that or should we discuss it further? So we have a bug that is similar to this already uh, that is on our backlog uh, that is also about uh, templates being used in articles. Um, uh, which we will be hopefully getting sometime soon to you. Uh, so this will be this. I, I think this might be a duplicate of that bug. Um, I will, but I need a little bit more information uh, right now. The bug uh, um, 
pull them to an example. Um, so, Jan, if you could have more information on what you would like to see uh, when you when you when we have something like that uh, beyond the revisions uh, and where it's being used, um, like statistics or something, and uh, what you would like to use it for, that would make it easier for me to. Um, see if we can put it on the road and that uh, and prioritize that against other things. So Kadir, what, what you would like to see is basically uh, user stories. Here's why I as a contributor would like to be able to see blah, blah, blah. Uh, in this case, it might be I would like to see who uploaded it or who changed this file. It might be one use case like, you know, I uploaded this file and all of a sudden it looks different. Who, who did this and, and when? and uh, how many other articles are affected by this change. Uh, is that what you're getting at? Yes, and, and th thank you for putting, putting it so eloquently. Uh, that's indeed what I was getting at. Um, anything that makes it easier for us to understand where this might be used and how um, would make it easier to, to prioritize this against all the other things that we have on our plate right now. <coughs> Uh, Jan, I, I would I would I would volunteer to to write it down with Jan if you if you if you want some help I, I can we can just you know like uh, uh, get together an IRC and then we can write it together and check it with Kadir so that we yeah can sure have like a good... any help yeah, is appreciated yeah no Absolutely. thanks let's let's just sync on IRC and 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 we can do it together I've I've written a couple of user stories with Kadir so now I I, I know a, a little bit you know what he's looking for so I can help maybe. <laughs> Great, uh, and I'll be around if you need any uh, if you need any help with that. Absolutely, I'm on IRC. Great stuff. Um, so I put that as an action item uh, to write some user stories for this. Uh, thanks, Jan, for for joining first of all and um, talking to us. That's great to actually have some more people on the line besides uh, besides us. So thank you so much for that, and we'll follow up. Um, and Rosanna will talk to you. Cool. Um, let's move on then to Firefox Desktop. All right. The only real things going on right now on desktop. Uh, last week, Tyler identified a Facebook crasher. Uh, it looked like it was related to the Facebook desktop plugin. Um, we got in contact with the developer, and he's pushed a fix for that. So everybody should be updated in the next couple of days. Um, other thing, just to let everybody know, is we're working on the Firefox 19 sentiment report. And for those of you that don't know what that is, the sentiment report is a, kind of a post-mortem for each release that we put together. It talks about our users' uh, pain throughout the release, the things that they love, the things that they didn't love. Um, so keep an eye out for that, and we'll have it posted on the blog so that everybody can check it out. Excellent. Um, and I see there is a bug here found as well. Um, I think it's Jay who did it. Character problem with the PDF viewer. Okay, so if this bug has been filed, then we can just continue the conversation there because I guess nobody really has an answer now for this. So we'll just like follow up on the bug um, and see what's going on. Cool. Any other questions for Firefox desktop format? Nobody? Take one, take two. Okay. Moving on, Firefox for Android. Hi, yeah, so uh, Michael is, is ably, as usual, coordinating the program for uh, for desktop and Android. Um, and the big change in Firefox, we would like to finish the articles this week or yesterday or <laughs> as soon as possible. The big change is uh, the 384. We are decreasing the requirements for Firefox 20 to um, we're decreasing the RAM requirements to 384 megabytes of RAM, and we are change, uh, decreasing the screen size to QVGA, which is 320 by 240. Um, and we have a support day on Thursday. Let's answer all the Android and desktop questions. Also, private browsing. Right, private browsing, the thing that I never use, but apparently lots of people want and love. It's good for when you're buying an engagement ring, for example. Oh, yes. That's the only legitimate use, buying awesome stuff for your awesome Do you buy that online? So, which, by the way, David, Damn, I, do that, yeah, I do that once a week. So. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. no, you buy all that, you know, Portland swag for, that you give away to people as you go through the world in your 
second job as Portland ambassador. Really? Just once a week? Oh, okay. Okay, I said, yeah. I'm a bit uncomfortable here. So are actually people banning savings online? Uh, I wouldn't buy it, but you, know, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, interesting. Cool. Um, anything else so far for 400? Nope. Nope. All done. Okay. Firefox OS. Shell. Hey, Shell. Hello. <laughs> um, so Firefox OS, um, we are getting excited about the Geeks phones. We know they're coming soon. And so everything we're doing is just sort of preparing for the developer preview devices to um, start going out. And um, I mean, I don't have an exact date for that, but over the next few weeks, uh, that's our main focus is to get all the sort of um, top tasks at least drafted on the knowledge base and, um, and see what we can start localizing to Spanish since um, we know the Geeks Homes will be available with Spanish and uh, Brazilian Portuguese. So again, thanks for the work on the forum um, and to everyone who is already contributing to Mozilla Hispano and everyone prepping, working on the Firefox OS KB. If you want to take um, screenshots of Spanish and Portuguese to match the English articles that we have so far, that would be a huge help, or there is a list of needs changes in the KB, a uh, bunch of stuff that still needs to be documented. The biggest gap we have right now is fix the problem. So there's a huge list of things in the fix the problem common questions article that we need to cover, and that can be just text about you know how to make an update, um, how to restart your phone, that kind of thing. Questions? Questions. Come on, guys. Now is your time. Should Ideas. Let me know if you have questions. If you need a test prototype device, I can also try to help with that. Um, you just have to send me your name and phone number and address, and I'll try to get you a phone for testing and documentation. Excellent. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Michelle, for all the really cool updates. Uh, we're staying in the mobile zone, so now it's time for the Thunderbird. Hold on. Actually, it's not mobile. Whenever I think about Roland, I think about mobile, but you're still doing the Thunderbird thing. Anyway, uh, Thunderbird? Okay. Yeah, that's you. I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, so we are having a um, 1704 release, uh, I believe, today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. Uh, we're not as affected by the bug resulted in Firefox 1902, just some add-ons apparently. Um, so that's why it wasn't released as quickly as Firefox 1902. Other than that, I don't, I don't have any other updates. Cool. Thank you, Roland. Any questions for Thunderbird? No? Okay. Let's move on to Metrics then. Shabir. Maybe we can you're, you're, you're muted. You're muted. All right. Um, yeah, so I have two things for metrics this week. Uh, the first thing is that we have started work on rate limiting in the sprint. Um, and this is specifically for KB articles, which saw a lot of spam um, last time. So we're correcting that, and hopefully we'll have a cleaner um, uh, measuring of, of uh, votes in the KB from here on. The other thing is that we we, uh, um, that we are currently moving away from our uh, charting library uh, that we use to draw all of the charts on Kitsune uh, to a solution that is uh, open source software. Um, and while we are doing that, uh, we won't be uh, modifying any of the current charts because it would mean that we would have to do the work on our old uh, uh, system and then move that stuff over to the new system and do the work there again. Uh, so as not to duplicate work, we are currently uh, trying to move everything over to the new library as fast as we can. But in the meantime, uh, please uh, bear with us while we are um, trying to um, yeah, move that over 
uh, and, and we might not get to uh, requests regarding uh, changes to charts uh, as quickly as usual. So that's just here to explain why some of the chart changes are maybe uh, not in there yet. Uh, but hopefully we will have, um, uh, we will have completed this uh, change soon. And as far as I can uh, tell, it seems like the new charting library is also pretty uh, easy to use, or at least easier to use than the old one. So that will hopefully help us also to move quicker in the future. Okay. Any questions for Kadir? Okay, I'll do that. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, cool. Um, let's move to community updates then. Rosanna, you want to talk to us? Um, yep. Let me start here. Um, okay, so uh, we had uh, the buddy program meeting uh, last Friday, uh, and it went very good. We are uh, in the process of checking the documentation that we have, and, and since we have almost all pieces together, we decided that we're going to start a pilot program to see how the buddies uh, are doing, to see if we have new people joining. Um, so you will have, uh, you know, we're, we're going to start trying it out, and uh, there's a couple of buddies that are already in place. Uh, Swarnava, who has always been a body, I mean, he has been doing that work with, you know, that job without really having, like, the description. He will be there again. Um, Yalam96 is going to be um, helping uh, also the bodies. Uh, Jay um, is going to be there. Um, so if anyone is feeling like they want to mentor uh, new contributors, um, please, oh, sorry. <coughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> so if, <laughs> if you want to mentor um, anyone uh, in, in, in Sumo, please let us know. We have the thread uh, in the contributor forum. It's pretty long, um, but uh, we have like the latest updates in the, in the latest posts. Uh, or contact any one of the of the people that that I mentioned, and you know we're like super happy to have more people, and we're gonna try to uh, assign buddies and newbies in a way that you know people are on your time zone, or you know if you are very knowledgeable about the you know L N, then we're gonna get you a, a localizer, or if you're like a a forum ninja, we'll get you people that want to start in the forum. So that's the whole idea. We have a whole process uh, in place with forums and. Um, so we're looking into that. Uh, what's going to happen next is that uh, there's an automatic generated email. And when new contributors sign up as contributors, they get an email. So we're going to link to that form so that new contributors um, go to the body form and they get um, to the to the buddies. Um, yeah. So that's what's going to happen, and we're going to see how that goes. But then you know we're we're you know launching the pilot of this program, and you know everyone's welcome. And you know just let us know if you want to contribute. Yes, please do. I mean, this is, this will be quite a quite a big thing, uh, and we're very happy about it because it's the best way to actually get people started. And I think it will be very interesting for a lot of people participating to become the teachers and the mentors, and you know, uh, bring new people into the sumo world. So yes, if you're interested, please let us know. We promise you to be so much fun. You have to, yeah, it's like the most fun thing ever invented. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have a lot of that one-on-one -on -one interaction. I mean, I know that a lot of people were very happy about having the one-on-one -on -one interactions uh, on the on the live chat. And we think that we're going to have the one-on-one -on -one interactions here, but, you know, it's going to be with uh, with new uh, contributors. So you don't just lose the person, but, you know, like, we're going to we're gonna try to grow the community that way. So, again, uh, just, you know, let us know and, and we'll be there. I go over to, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, if there are uh, any questions for the body program, one, two, three, four, no, okay, okay, then. okay. <laughs> so I just, I just wanted to say that, um, just a quick note on the Brazilian Portuguese, I know that we've been talking a lot about Brazilian Portuguese this last quarter, also because, you know, we know that Firefox OS is going to be launched there, and Ralph and I went there and made this event. Well, it seems to be that, you know, the guys from the Brazilian community are, you know, making uh, lots of efforts and we're already at 55% of the top articles. We know that there's a lot of articles that need to get updated, uh, but, you know, they have been working and increasing um, the articles that are updated. So I just want to get a thumbs up. And I, I think that this can serve as a model 
for when we have a you know a locale that you know it's been like slipping or you know needs a little bit more action i think that this is um a nice way uh, of showing that new people can get a lot of energy and that if everyone you know all the updates get reviewed that you know people start contributing more so you know just as a as a showcase and to say congratulations to the to the Brazilian Portuguese uh, localizers, and, you know, great job. Keep it going. That's, that's yeah. We we hope that we get to 100%. Uh, I know that of course you're volunteering, but you know, it, it looks good. We're making progress every week. How do you see well done in Portuguese? <laughs> Muito bom. I don't know. I mean, I, there's maybe Ralph. some better way. Yeah, Ralph. Uh, Rosetta, I'm ready for the Portuguese lessons at any moment. Um, I'm thinking yeah. to teach the entire sumo community. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you, that's a task for you next week. You need to tell us how to say well done, great job in Portuguese. Yeah. In Brazilian Portuguese. Brazilian. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks, Rosana. These are great updates. Um, if there are no more questions about Delta, then let's move to knowledge phase. Michael. <clears throat> so we are finishing up Firefox 20 updates uh, this week. There's uh, there's still a good a bit. A good bit of uh, work to do, um, just FYI. Um, and uh, Matt and I made a video on Friday about content tuning and keywords. So, um, and I added it to the keyword documentation, and I posted it in the in the um, knowledge base forum as a as like a workshop for the for the tech writing group. But actually, anyone who works on knowledge base documents. This is good information. So um, just so you know, so there's kind of, there's a number of things to do and keywords are like the last step of that. And we actually just changed keywords to be, you have to be a reviewer in order to add or change uh, keywords. But things like the title when you create an article, the search summary, the text in the body of the article. We go through all of that in the video and and do a demonstration about how that affects search rankings um, uh, and stuff. So it's a good, it's like 14 minutes. Um, it's pretty informative. Check it out. Uh, that's about it. Awesome. Great stuff. Great. great. Okay, thanks, Michael. Um, next topic, the support forum. Uh, that's me. So first of all, you know, it's Thursday, Sumo Day, so we have a new week and a new Sumo Day this Thursday on the 14th. Uh, last Sumo Day, we did 98.2% of questions answered, which was almost there. Amazing job. Thank you, everybody. Um, let's get ready to do it again uh, this Thursday, maybe even reach the 100%. I was hoping that we will be able to start already measuring um, the response rate on a 24 hour basis, but I think that will take a while. I don't think it will be ready until Thursday, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, everybody please join us on Thursday to answer as many questions as we can on the support forum. We would really, really appreciate your help. And of course, our users will really, really appreciate your help because they're alone there and they're scared and they don't know what to do. The goddamn Firefox. Um, so yeah, this is happening this Thursday. And there is another thing that is going on right now related to the forum. There is a discussion about guidelines um, that is on the contributors forum. Um, so there are a lot of topics that we need to discuss. I think there right now there are like 15 topics uh, and guidelines and all that stuff that needs to be talked about. So if you want to participate, please do. We will do one topic, um, let's say one by one. So, but we'll keep everything in one thread. So it'll be like one topic. Once we're done with one topic, we're crossing it out and then moving to the next one. And this way we can keep all the guidelines together. Um, so yeah, please go to that thread and you know provide your input. And I see there is one more thing. I think it was Jay who put this here about uh, threads which are not related to Mozilla and they keep increasing. Yes, this is a problem. We're looking into it. Um, there are more and more threads which are not related to Firefox, which are coming to our forums. I think honestly, it's really a matter of um, how we're working with the search engines. Because it seems that people, if people are searching for some other other stuff, then our forum pops up, which is not a good thing. So we need to see how we can clear that. 
Um, yeah, we're still in discussions about this, so I do not have an answer right now. But it might be that at a certain point we will need to start deleting threads which are not related to Mozilla. This is just a suggestion. I'm not saying this is the solution, but this might be it. Um, okay. Anything else? I mean, if there are any questions on the support forum or take one to two, no? Okay. Question, are we having this meeting next week? Uh, I don't think so. Are we having it? No. So, I, uh, yeah, go ahead, David. We're having a team meetup next week uh, in San Francisco. So I think we, I, I should say, we're, we're not going to have the meeting because we're not going to have time for it, but um, we will have a meeting in two weeks. Yes. So yeah, next week, all the whole team will be in San Francisco um, for our quarterly meetup. It's actually the only time when all of us can see each other <laughs> face to face. Um, so it's a great time for us. Um, I'm talking about staff here. Um, so we won't, be hold we won't be holding this meeting next week, but as David says, in two weeks, we'll be back with a jet lag. Um, so there's Some of us won't. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I think, I think we should make a bet on that, David. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to. Happy to. And I'm looking forward to when we're having this in Europe so I can make fun of all the others. Ah. Um, okay, so I think we're pretty much done. Anybody else wants to talk about something? God, we're so efficient. Only 30 minutes. Wow. That's I hope good. I wasn't going too fast. I'm just, or I'm just efficient. Um, I've got go a ahead. question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, is there any Sumo developers uh, on this meeting? Uh, Ricky was there. Ricky, are you still there? I think you left the meeting. I think you left. He so I, yeah, I had this idea for uh, the knowledge base uh, is basically for articles uh, which need to be archived or deleted. Would be uh, maybe it would be nice if uh, it this process was automated so it would save some time for uh, reviewers. I don't know that there's a way to automate that. It's a pretty subjective kind of process. Okay. We do have things What's like. The idea? Hello. Oh, no, sorry. Go ahead. What was That's the question? A for you, Michael. That was it for me. No, I think she was trying no. to say something, and then she realized yeah. that she was interrupting, and then she said, go ahead. And then she said there's that this latency, so everyone is waiting for someone to say something. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> Michelle mentioned that it's a great idea, and I think that it's a great oh. idea, too. It, just, it seems that it's not as trivial, right? That's what Michael is trying to say. Right. Oh, no, I just asked what's the, what is the idea. The idea is to automate oh. uh, archiving. I don't understand. Can you get, tell me a little more about what it is? Just automate uh, the process of archiving or deleting articles which are not used anymore or not visited by uh, people uh, which need help. Uh, oh. So, so based on how many visits they get, they would be auto archived. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, something like that. Mm. So okay. maybe Michael, you can express the, explain the process right now. So how does it work right now? Right. So <clears throat> so uh, right now, what we do is, or what we can, uh, the idea is, we have a discussion forum on each article, um, and people. I mean, it's a job that someone can do is to look through what doesn't get any views, what doesn't seem to be. In, a lot of times, these are things that are like um, an issue. Um, there was a problem in Firefox eight. Um, and, you know, like we don't actually even support Firefox 8 anymore, and that's not an issue anymore. We could probably just archive that ar article. So there's a discussion forum where you can say that, um, and a, someone with a reviewer powers can archive uh, the article. Another thing that we can sometimes do, um, there, there is software to help 
with this, or, or there are processes to help with this, but the, the quick and easy way is, um, again, a, a reviewer can make a note in the needs changes uh, section, like, hey, we wrote this article for this issue. When it's resolved, here's the bug number or the date it should be resolved. We should revisit whether we still need this article. And that some serves as a thing as you're looking through the needs changes to like, oh, do we really still need this article? Has the problem been fixed, right, as a reminder. Um, one issue, we could probably solve this with some sort of product filtering about views is that, you know, we have one product that has 450 million users. We have a, another product that has a couple of million users. And we have a brand new product that doesn't really have any users yet. And so, um, you know, there are lots of articles that don't uh, get very many views in comparison to the, the top articles, but that doesn't mean they're not important or relevant. So there's all those kinds of things to balance. I guess it's the, right. yeah. So uh, how about a dashboard then, a uh, sort of dashboard which uh, facilitates the process of, you know, knowing about these articles which don't serve any purpose anymore? Uh, that could be a way I to think, do it. I mean, it, it. Jan, I think you have lots of very good ideas. I mean, what, what we could do is if, you, if we can schedule something and then we can sit down maybe over, over you know, video or something. Maybe if Kadir has some time, we can sit down and, and you know, write them down. Or, or we, we can try to work, work things on IRC because I think you have lots of good ideas. <laughs> I, I, you know, like usually we would like to Im implement everything, but, you know, we have, but you can do something. Uh, I think it's 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 great. I I think this deserves more time to to really have an idea of, of all the things that you're doing. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you want, let's set up something and and let's talk about this with a little bit more of time to see, you know, uh, you know, to get all all of your ideas. But I, you know, it's very good. Yeah, I think this is this is how we normally do these type of things is that we, we start to brainstorm, we start to come up with some ideas, and then there's some we try to develop some some user stories. And then uh, in that process, sometimes we can, you know, realize that, oh, this is related to this. And then we think maybe we could do this this way instead. So it, it, typically we need more, more time to really process an idea uh, rather than treating it on its own and, and see how it fits into the bigger picture. So that sounds like that would be a good conversation to have with Jan um, to see if we can merge all of his ideas into what we already have. Kadir, do you have that link to the, like, process for figuring something out? I just linked... I gave I sent J yeah. a link about the champions, but I forget where the link is about the how to. So you will come you will see all of feature. the interesting links on the yeah you will see all of the interesting links on the Kitsune development uh, etherpad uh, at the bottom of it, and let me link uh, from the Shumo um, IRC room the roadmap process. Um, It's yeah, unfortunately, as open as we are, we need some structure. And, yeah, yeah. Well, but keep those uh, ideas coming. Actually, I, I think yeah. that was a particularly good one uh, that we can work on. Um, okay. And sometimes, sometimes they seem like big, uh, big projects, but they can be actually done uh, in a quick and easy way. Uh, we had a lot of those things that were um, uh, suggested by contributors that we were like, oh, why didn't we think of that before? And uh, implementation was sometimes really simple. Yeah. So keep them keep them coming. Okay. Yeah. The the, the idea is to save time for everyone. You know. Yeah. Sure. No, it's, it's really good. Like definitely. Um. I'm I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 pinging you uh, through IRC and I'll try to organize something. And I I think that you know moving forward, I think that maybe we can have once a month or something like that. A meeting where you know where people just jump in, contributors, and let us know about their ideas, you know, so that we discuss them like this. I, I think that would be also very interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, also we have the uh, Thursday meeting where we are talking about features and what to add to the KB and to the platform. Um, so that that's usually where we also decide things, uh, what to test out, what to do next. Um, I'm not sure, Jan, if you know about that, um, but it's on Thursdays. It's in this same channel, um, and it's uh, the same time. 
right, Michael? Yes, I'm posting the link to the wiki page for that. All right, then I think that's where we talk about the platform exclusively um, and, and uh, mainly about the KV. Great. Okay. Uh, if this sounds good to everybody, um, I think we can call it a day. So we have one little action item uh, for Zana and to reach out to Jan and arrange some user stories. And otherwise, that's it. Back to work. Back yeah. to work. Have a great right. week, everybody. Thank you. Have a so good much. week. Take care. Bye. 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 Thanks, everyone.